Dan Dyker of the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs. Um, next week, the center is hosting a conference on the Sykes-Picot Agreement from 100 years ago. What is the conference going to be about? For the first time since the founding of the State of Israel, a leading group of geopolitical experts and authorities on the Middle East will discuss the collapse of the Middle East in the aftermath of the 100-year-old Sykes-Picot Agreement. This is the first time that such a uh, extraordinary group of intellectual leaders will gather in Jerusalem under the sanction of the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs and discuss what are the uh, very rocky and even explosive results of the 100 years ago when a decision was made by the French and the British to artificially divide up the Middle East into fabricated nation states. And look what has happened since. This is a critical analysis. Uh, this is going to be a sharp and critical assessment of lessons learned and warnings for the future. Who will be some of the experts appearing at this conference? What's unique about the uh, Sykes-Picot Conference 100 years later, um, sanctioned by the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs, is that it is the first time that the leading authorities on the geopolitics of the Middle East will be gathering, including Professor Ephraim Karsh, formerly of King's College and now of Bar-Ilan University, um, Professor Ambassador Itamar Rabinovich, the former Israeli ambassador to the United States, who's uh, considered one of the great uh, and, and very well-published experts on the Middle East and Syria, uh, and, as well as the Arab world uh, in general. And, uh, and goodness, there we are going to have ambassadors uh, and former uh, officials, uh, as well as um, uh, really some of the uh, great, great scholars uh, from Israel and around the world on the Middle East, considering this very, very serious and even uh, acute question, uh, what has happened to the Middle East since these artificial lines divided the region and ended up, in many views, in, in many people's minds, destroying the very region that it was designed uh, to stabilize. And will information on the conference be online? Information on the conference is online at the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs. That's jcpa.org. And then it will also uh, find its way to all of the important Facebook addresses uh, and other social media addresses uh, that uh, people will be able to get this material uh, very broadly.